and uh, there we have the entertainment host, Shi uh, Shi Yang from Pop Stop TV. Shi uh, Shi, thanks for your time today, uh, because obviously we're talking you. You believe that you were the last interviewer to talk to Philip Seymour Hoffman at the Sundance Festival. Tell us what this was, was all about and your impressions of him. Hi, Eamon. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, we covered the Sundance 2014 International Film Festival, and of course, we were there to speak with Philip Seymour Hoffman at the premiere of his red carpet film, uh, A Most Wanted Man. And yes, I was the last reporter to speak with him on the red carpet. Yeah, we're asking you with retrospect, you know, what did you make of him? Um, how was he behaving? I mean, it's easy to ask all these things now, but did you come away with any impressions? I mean, we've got a clip of your interview, which we'll, which we'll come to in just a moment, but what did you think of him there and then? Absolutely. Uh, first of all, when Philip first showed onto the red carpet, he was very, very nice. He took a lot of photos with all the photographers, but unfortunately, he looked very, very tired. And a lot of our viewers even commented that he was looking quite pasty, very unlike himself. He was not in the mood to do any interviews. He skipped majority of the red carpet. And the only reason why I got a couple of answers out of him was I was very aggressive at the end of the carpet, shouting out some of the questions about his new movie that he was promoting a most wanted man and that really caught his attention he answered my questions gracefully but again he looked very uncomfortable throughout the interview and it was just it was very much not like him he is one of the most talented actors in hollywood and of course he's one of the actors who's really really into his crafts and less so into the all the glitz and glam of hollywood so he's never been really big about sharing a lot about his personal life his private life and he hasn't he's never really been a big fan of doing interviews but yeah. he he did answer the questions and a lot of the fans even noticed that uh, throughout the interview he was kind of scratching his chest and um, looking back a lot of fans were saying that it's a sign that he has unfortunately relapsed again perhaps uh, he became a heroin addict again after 23 years of being sober but then again I think it's really easy to look back and nitpick on certain things throughout the interview we really have to wait for a toxicology report to come out and confirm all this yeah, OK, Shishi, we're going to have a look now uh, at the interview that you were talking about and, and we'll everybody will be able to judge for themselves. Here we go. I connect to a lot of it. You know, I think it'd be hard for anyone not to kind of connect with uh, the loneliness. Of him. He's pretty lonely, he's very driven, obsessive guy, you know, um, uh, does not unforgiving, you know, of himself in a lot of ways and a lot of traits that I think a lot of people carry in one grade or another, you know. Um, yeah. What I just was talking about, you know, yeah, the qualities of that he is really human, he's a real person, you know, doing a job that most people I think think is, you know, mysterious or something. To do right by uh, the story and to try to illuminate it in a way that hopefully is uh, surprising, you know. Big loss to the acting world, yeah, we see that scratching thing going on you were talking about there. Um, what do you think? I mean, this guy um, is so well respected, particularly amongst his peer groups, the people who know what it takes to do the job. Uh, how big a loss will he be? Uh, tremendous. We're getting so many responses from Hollywood right now. Everyone who's anyone has already released a public statement from George Clooney to Josh Groban. And I can say that we should definitely expect to see a 